It occurred to me that I uh, haven't covered flat springs, like springs in watches and, uh, and wind-up toys. So I'm going to show how to make one of those. It's going to be a, a flat spiral spring. So we start off with our normal sketch plane, make it vertical, and we'll need our centre line or axis. So we'll just put one there, and we're going to need a point. See over here somewhere. With those, we'll go to the pull tool. Select our point, and we're going to rotate it about an axis, and we're going to make a spiral helix. Now, in this one, we're going to give it a taper angle of 45 degrees and a pitch of 5 millimeters and we're going to make it 20 millimeters long. Now doing that at 45 degrees, five millimeter pitch, 20, it'll give us four spirals, 20 divided by five on a 45 degree taper angle will give us four spirals. So we'll put 20 in there and return. There we have one, two, three, four spirals. Now this is not exactly a flat spiral. To make a flat spiral from this, we can project it onto a sketch plane. So we'll select the axis, type K on the keyboard, and select the plane down here. We get some handles and we can rotate the sketch plane 90 degrees. And up here is the projector sketch. Select the spiral and it projects itself onto the sketch plane back into development mode with the D key. Now we've got tapered spiral and a flat spiral. So over here we see we've got a helix and a spline. All we need is the spline so we can delete these other things. Select the end point we've got a dot on it and again K for sketch plane we need to rotate this around a bit so we'll see what we're dealing with V brings it vertical so we're on this point here Using a rectangle, we can draw a rectangle here. Pull tool. Select our rectangle. Sweep along an arc. Full pull. need and a very nice flat spiral. Hope that could be useful. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye.